Ah, there you are. Welcome to Wrestling Showdown. As we are getting even closer to the start of our live events we have for you coming up in the month of December. I'm sure you know by now they're on the 8th, 9th, 27th and 28th of the month. That's some pre-Christmas and post-Christmas amazing WWE action for you to have. Now, our events on the 27th and 28th of December are in Kinghorn and Broxburn respectively. I'll tell you more about them next month, but first up on the agenda is our events at the start of the month, the 8th and the 9th. On the 8th, we head up to Elgin. Yes, it's later in the year than normal, but just the way the schedule worked out. But we are bringing with you all your WTL favourites, including the exile Luke Aldridge, the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey, the always popular Kevin Williams. And flying in especially for this event is the Bulgarian baker, Bozidar Branimir. He is facing the merchandise Mike Musso in a tables match. That's going to be an amazing main event for our live show in Elgin. So come out and see us if you're in or near Elgin. It's going to be tremendous. The following day, of course, is the 9th of December. We're going to Dalkeith for Fight for Life as we raise money for the Samaritans and raise awareness about mental health issues and the help available to those suffering from it. And of course, we dedicate the entire event to the memory of the late Edward Harris, one of, you may call him, the founding fathers of the Worldwide Wrestling League. I have already told you that every single WTL Championship will be up for grabs in Dalkeith. The heavyweight title on the line, as tenacious Johnny Lyons faces the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey. Dickie Divers defends the Wrestling Showdown Championship against Kevin Williams. TG Rage and Krager make their first defence of the tag team title against former champions Prince Asad and Saqib Ali. In non-title action, we'll see the merchandise Mike Musso taking on the original Craig Stevens, and the women's title will be defended as well. I was a bit cagey about the women's title match last week here on Showdown, and I'm going to remain so for the time being, because what exactly is going to happen with the women's title on December 9th in Ducky the Fight for Life will be determined by the match that you are about to see. Because the brand new women's champion Emily Hayden is here, making her first defence of that championship, taking on somebody she faced in the run up to Resolution, where of course she won the championship, and I'm talking about Angel Hayes. Now can Emily Hayden's reign as women's champion get past one title defence, or is Angel Hayes going to surprise everybody and defeat Emily Hayden at the first time of asking. So only one way for us to find out. Let's get down to ringside for some women's championship action. This is Joe Fordyce with your wrestling showdown. And uh, just seven days ago, we saw tenacious Johnny Lyons making his first defence of the WTL Heavyweight Championship. And here this week, you're seeing the best, beautiful, the only Emily Hayden making her first defence of the WTL Women's Championship. And she's taking on uh, the young lady clad in blue, Angel Hayes. Now, the two of them met here on showdown. Uh, towards the end of August in a, a non-championship match because at that point the championship was still vacant and uh, management were eyeing up the match closely because uh, somebody was going to end up heading to Resolution to challenge for the vacant championship it was in the end Emily Hayden got the victory over Angel Hayes and of course as a consequence she went on to Resolution to face Jayla Dark and she defeated her by uh, faking a leg injury uh, just to uh, confuse Dark a little she took her eye off the ball and was even in rolled up and pinned her uh, so this is Emily Hayden's first defence since resolution of the Women's Championship and due to the circumstances of their prior contest manager of the side that Angel Hayes will be getting that first crack at the champion Emily 
Hayden just applying that side headlock. So goes Hayden, much like Lions, doesn't want her first defence to be her last defence. But Angel Hayes has got tons of ability and potential, so there's a very good chance she might end up pulling off what you might argue is an upset and uh, defeating Hayden, who's now put her back in that side headlock. I mean, Hayden does have more experience than Angel Hayes, of course, has that champion's advantage in the respect that Hayes has to beat Hayden. Hayden does not have to beat Hayes. So a frog. Oh, and got shoved against the ropes. Landed awkwardly on that as well. Of course, Hayden's not going to care. If it helps wear Hayes down, she's going to be all for it. Oh, and a lovely roll-up with momentum as well. This is where Angel Hayes is at her best when she can get up ahead of steam. There's a crucifix just for a two count. And Hayes, now that was lovely, kept contact and rolls her over and puts the shoulders down. They're doing it again. It's like a Japanese rolling leg clutch. And that's kind of what it is. Hayes has got control of Hayden. And he's just holding on to her and rolling her over to try and get a pin. And I don't think Emily Hayden knows what day it is or even where she is in the ring. She's reeling. She's stumbling. And <laughs> a drop kick. If your opponent's unsteady on their feet, why not? And Angel Hayes, she's meaning business here. She has charged in at the start of this match and has gone for multiple pinfall attempts. She's got her eyes on the prize. Emily Hayden blocks the foot and goes right in the eyes of Angel Hayes. Rakes away at them, realising that she can't out-wrestle her, so just decides to cheat. And fair play to her, it's been, it's been good for her, she's gained a lot of victories by uh, breaking the rules. And if there's anybody in the crowd that wasn't on Angel Hayes' side, they certainly are now. As Hayden just choking her in the corner. Angel Hayes coughing there, trying to get some air in her lungs. Hayden just wants to slow her momentum down. Vertical suplex there. And Emily Hayden, quite proud of herself, now goes for a cover, hooking the leg. Bowling neck herself a two count. So I said, Emily Hayden uh, defeated Jayla Dark. It was a very controversial ending to that contest. She faked a leg injury. I would assume that Jayla Dark will be ideally getting a rematch for the title at some point in the not too distant future. I'm sure Magic will try and make her schedule work. Work that out and right in the corner she goes. Forearm by Angel Hayes. Seen her a few times here in wrestling show. Seen Hayden as well a few times of course. But now the stakes have been uh, raised higher. I cover right there. Uh, right after the snapmare. The, the stakes have been increased because, of course, now there's a, a natural championship on the line. Hayden's challenged it before, of course, but it's just her finally holding it. And these are a very different approach to the matches. Emily Hayden's uh, very deliberate with everything that she does. Doesn't do a lot of running around. Very deliberate footwork. Will walk instead of run, knows exactly where she's going, what she's going to do when she gets there. Angel Hayes, however, as we saw at the beginning, is much more energetic, will run around a lot, generate momentum by coming off the ropes. She flies really well as well when she gets the opportunity to, to climb the ropes and dive off them. But she generates her offense by uh, momentum and charging across the ring, gaining space, and Emily Hayden just standing on her hair and pulling it up. And that's really painful as well. If you've ever had long hair and someone stood on it and you've tried to stand up, that's, that's horrible. Just pain going through Angel Hayes' scalp. And the cow kick on Hayden's case. She doesn't want to turn her back on, it, on uh, Angel Hayes, I should say. Because it's not such a thing will occur. As she kicks Emily Hayden. Going for that Enzugiri. She not have caught in the back of the head, but if she didn't, she caught her right in the side of the face. And down goes Hayden. But Angel Hayes falls and has gone kind of the opposite way. So she's unable to fall up immediately with a pinfall attempt. So the referee applying that count of 10. Of course, if somebody fails to get up, the match will be over. That's is a technical knockout. Both women crawling up, and they've gone to opposite corners. And this is going to be to Hayes' advantage as he charges across the ring with those forearms. 
And there's another forearm. And immediately follows him in the clothesline. And runs into Emily Hayden again. And kicks her down. And boots her in the face one more time. And straight for a cover after all those moves. Angel Hayes only gets up a two count. Emily Hayden's reeling a bit. She's slightly slower to get up. But Angel Hayes still a bunch of energy. Until Emily Hayden just ran into her. Now hoist her over her shoulders. Angel Hayes doesn't have a lot of body weight. So it's quite easy to pick her up. She gets dropped down. And a splash. Lovely by Emily Hayden. I think I've seen her do that before. Does get her a two. What a lovely combination though. Flips her over her shoulders with the fireman's carry slam. Angel Hayes hits the canvas hard. And just as she's recovering from that, Emily Hayden drops down there with a big splash. And oh, Angel Hayes swung out the back of it. Super kick. Right in the chin and Emily Hayden goes down. We give ourselves a brand new women's champion. Angel Hayes hooks the leg. But Emily Hayden got out of it. Everybody's surprised at that. Even the referee, I think. Angel Hayes hit that super kick down with Emily Hayden. Or I mentioned flying the four, so the middle rope. Obviously looking to dive upon the champion. Oh, and she went down! And Emily Hayden covers her. She can wrap this one up, she's got the leg out, but Angel Hayes kicks out. I think her foot just slipped off the rope. I mean, the humidity in the building, combined with sweat from other matches, it, the ropes can get slippy. It's an easy thing to do, I mean, it's not called high risk for nothing. Emily Hayden's got hold of her and drops her face first, plants her in the canvas, hooks a leg, covers her, and scores a three count. Emily Hayden retains the women's championship. So the champion retains her title. It's unfortunate for Angel Hayes and a couple of people disgusted by what happened there. You know, walking out in protest but regardless Emily Hayden retains the title bad luck to Angel Hayes hopefully see her back and getting a rematch for the title sometime soon and hopefully be right here on Wrestling Showdown Emily Hayden retains the women's championship but it has to be said Angel Hayes was pretty unlucky at the end of that contest and the match was going her way just before it ended. In light of that, manager have decided that on December the 9th in Dalkeith at Fight for Life, a huge charity event, that Emily Hayden will defend the Women's Championship against Angel Hayes. And the returning Jayla Dark. And the also returning Ashley Vega. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't happen very often in WTL. We're going to be having a four-way contest for the Women's Championship. Emily Hayden defends his Angel Hayes, Jayla Dark and Ashley Vega worth the price of admission to William Shuler and Lee. And that joins the heavyweight title match, the wrestling showdown title match, the tag team title match, Musso vs Stevens in non-title action and everything that's going to go down in Dalkeith. So that is four huge events coming up in the month of December. Up first is Elgin on the 8th, Dalkeith on the 9th. If you're in these places, if you're near these places, if you can get to these places, come along, show your support, not just for WTL, but of course in Dalkeith for the Samaritans as well. It's trying to raise as much money as is humanly possible. It's going to be an awesome event, as will Elgin be as well. To get tickets for all four of our events in the month of December, head up our website, we're at WTLWrestling.com. Make sure you join us on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the YouTube channel you're currently watching right now. If you don't subscribe to this, please hit the subscribe button. It's one simple button click and you'll be notified every time a brand new episode of Showdown goes online for you to watch. And We've had three championship matches in a row over the past couple of weeks. What more kind of quality did you want? So make sure you subscribe to this channel, follow us on all social media. And if you want to engage with us, why not? Use the hashtag WTL Wrestling Showdown that's up there above my head. Tell us what you think is going to happen. Who is going to walk away the women's champion in Dalkeith? Can Emily Hayden retain against three challengers? Will it be Angel Hayes' final chance? 
to get the title? Will Jayla Dark raise it? What about Ashley Vega? The possibilities are endless. Let us know what you think. Get in touch and communicate with us here at W3L. Then, of course, come back here in seven days' time. I'll bring you more amazing wrestling action, more news about our live events, and even more wrestling showdown.